Next up, a stay-at-home mom from Ottawa who's invented an all-in-one makeup system for busy women on the go. It's called Mistura, and it's a mineral-based powder with special properties. Hello, Dragons. My name is Andy Marcus. I'm president and CEO of Mistura Beauty Solutions. We're an Ottawa-based cosmetic company, and I'm here to ask for $200,000 for 10% of my company. $2 million valuation. That's what yep. you think your business is worth. Hang on. You better have some sales, honey. Oh, I have sales, darling. What I have is called the 6-in-1 Beauty Solution. It's a multi-functioning mineral-based powder. It takes the place of a foundation, a concealer, a blush, a bronzer. It can also be used as a lipstick and an eyeshadow. The biggest differentiating factor between our product and other mineral-based products on the market is that it's one multi-functioning shade for everybody. So it actually works on um, women of color, uh, Caucasians, Asians, East Asians. I've got to see it, yeah. Mr. A Mineral Makeup comes in only one color, but Andy he claims its heat-activated formula self-adjusts to your skin's ideal shade. I actually want to come and see it before and after, so okay. hold on. I want to see what this looks like. I can see you from there, but I want to see close up. Okay, so I've got Ashton done. So you see she looks airbrushed yep. and totally illuminated. Yep. Yep. I'm going to do half of Natasha's face. So you see how it's going on a little more pink on her. It looks as though Arlene, once does we've it look done any it. different? Mm -hmm. It's like, it looks a lot different. That's actually fairly amazing. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's, I know. It's like you look, look a lot different. This is like all the mints in one. This is all you need to be made up. It's all you need. Andy's been selling Mistura for almost a year, and sales so far are in the $150,000 range. Not bad for a brand only selling in catalogs and websites. Andy, what's unique about this product? Did you invent it? Like I actually went on a plane and went to all sorts of laboratories across the U.S. and Canada to try and get this done. So is and there anything proprietary about it, though? Or um, it just you can't patent a makeup right. product because if you deviate even like an eighth of a teaspoon, it becomes a completely different, different formula. Why is this worth $2 million? I'll tell you why. A large percentage of it is potential-based. So I have to pay for potential before no. it happens? No. You build your business to a point where you need help, right? So if I had enough working capital to hire account managers or people who could open up channels of distribution as sales reps. you're not answering why is it worth $2 million? You told me all the reasons why you need money. But he's asking me where that $2 million is coming from. That. Well, I'm getting to that because if, it'll come from being able to afford sales reps. But why is it worth $2 million today? I obviously haven't articulated to you what channels to trade we have in place already, what kind of vendor agreements we have in place already. But you're asking for 200 today, and you're willing to give up the equity. Why? Don't you really just need a loan? I have entertained the thought of a, a high interest loan for Whoa. a predetermined valuation. That's what I'm getting to. You really no. need a loan. Silence, Robert. I'm going to make an offer. I'll loan you $200,000 at 21% annual interest, okay? I want a warrant for 80% of your equity. I'll call it anytime I want. You want 80%? Are you out of your mind? You're dealing with the economic realities of today on a startup. You're not going to get a better deal. I'm also dealing with a recession-proof industry. I made you an offer, yes or no? No, you know right now you should just tell him to pound sand. That's a yeah. stupid Am offer. Yeah, am I allowed? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a no to Kevin's offer, but the other dragons aren't ready to take a powder on this product. And if we go this way, I give you the $200,000 for 50% of your company. What you do really well is you're a good salesperson. You've got into all these tracks, but somebody has to pull it all together. You're not the person to do that. We have to go and hire somebody to do that, I, which I, costs money. I, you know what? You are. I gotta, I gotta say no, something. No, I'm not so, finished yet. You're, well, you're, you're never you're finished. Can, I, oh, yeah. I, I, I want to You're not chance. making an offer. Just you're not making an offer. Well, I'm about to make one, and you guys can just listen to me for a minute because I've listened to you for about the past half hour. What I would propose is two hundred thousand dollars for thirty-five percent of the company. But I would want you running the company, and mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it if, unless you were running the company. I think you are absolutely a stellar CEO, and I think you've got a real vision for the product. 
I'd have to go into the back and talk with my advisors to you, you see. You have actually, Jim's made you I've a very similar. Him, if Jim did not find a happy medium between 50 and 10. I think he was asking you to find a happy medium. I would go as high as 20%. I'm worried about how I get a decision made on the company. Do you want to just do the deal with me? 35? 35, yeah, I'd have to be a minimum of 35. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go back and think about it. The offer, $200,000 from a last minute alliance between Jim and Arlene. But they want 35%, 25% more than Andy came willing to part with. Okay, so Jim and Arlene are together now. I, I think there's only one offer. I know. Okay, 35% for 200,000 is extremely rich. I think Arlene you and did talk. really, really, really increase sales. That's the thing. She's the smart money. Okay. It's, a good glow. It's, it's like wearing makeup without wearing makeup. It's like a glow. But it's They're all one color. I think I would do 25% with you, those two. That's where I'm at. Okay. I can't give up more than 25%. I would be literally selling myself shorter than short if I were to go higher than that. I would be devaluing what I've put in and what I've built. Andy, just to confuse you a little bit, I'll do that deal if they don't. A surprise bid from Brett suddenly puts Jim and Arlene's offer in jeopardy. So are you clear on the offers? Marketers, business? Friendly Brett? Oil and gas Brett. Yeah, okay, it's a deal. There you go. Good. Go All right. Well done. Pleasure. We got a little homework to do. Yeah, I know. Get her done. Good. Okay. Thank Good luck you. with it. Well right. done. Pleasure. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good stuff. Andy, you're leaving me with a heavy heart. You still could have owned 20%, Andy. Kevin, you're going to be in my dreams tonight, and only because I, I'm going to feel bad for you that you lost out and that we won't be having champagne on my yacht.